what comes once in a year, twice in a month, four times in a week, and six times in a day? Do you know the answer? No, I don't know. Nobody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. How would they know? Okay, it's fair enough. But what are you into? Transformers? Pokemon? You fucking child? Relax. I just want to take some pictures. Get up, cocksuckers, it's all over. What the fuck is it gonna take to get rid of this bitch? You can't get rid of me, bitch! It would be so awesome. It would be so cool. Stop this madness. What do you want from me? Ah, what do you want? Please! <sighs> <laughs> no! 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 It's me. I'm back on my coma.
Hello? <laughs> Hanging on a digging on a squash banana, hungry. Good night to me. I love myself so much. I mean the world to me. Let's talk about under boob sweat. People don't talk about it enough when there's nothing to be ashamed about because almost everyone has it, especially the ones that are bigger up here. For starters, keep it clean. The thing with under boob sweat is that it's because of moisture. So personally, I just stay away from lotions, anything moisturizing in that area because that will just make things worse. Then again, I don't really struggle with under boob sweat that much or like it doesn't bother me to the point where I get like rashes or like it starts to itch or anything like that. But I do like to use baby powder, especially at nights, just to keep it dry, absorb any moisture, whatever. Another thing that I've heard a lot might help is just applying antiperspirant there. Just keep it alcohol free and you know, if you're concerned about it, aluminum free. There are also a lot of anti-chafing products out there, gels, sprays, creams, look into it. And I found that there are like bra liners. So basically, instead of putting like tissues or anything under your bra or your clothes, which is something I would do a lot, it's like a, piece of little fabric that will go right underneath your brow wire. Now, if you're already past the point of trying to prevent it because you already have a rash, give baby diaper rash products a try and try to stay away from any scented or alcohol containing washing products. Overall, you wanna just stay away from anything that's too form fitting. You wanna stay close to cotton fabrics and you know, make sure that your bra is the right size. I'm trying to think if there's any other advice or tips that I forgot to mention. If you think of something else, please leave a comment. It will help people. Take care. Squirting contest! Let's see who can squirt the farthest. He texted me. Well, what did he say? He said, hey. Well, was it like, hey, or like, hey? I, I think it's like, hey. Just text him back. Just, just text him back. It's not worth waiting. Okay, but like, what do I say back? Like, do I say, hey? Mm, I would definitely go, hi. Because you don't want to repeat what he said. Great point. I could say hello. Right, but hello is way too formal. I mean, I need to say something, right? Yeah, I mean... He wouldn't text you if he didn't want you to text him back. But am I gonna look lame if I respond right away? Do you want me to put a picture of you on my Instagram so he knows you're out? What if he figures out it's an old photo? You know what? Text him in an hour. I'm just gonna text him tomorrow. Yeah, text him tomorrow. Tomorrow is better. Maybe I should text him. I don't.